What is the Democratic uh, caucus's response to the speaker? I think he's wrong in this sense. I'm optimistic. I think things are coming to a head. The Republicans have a clear choice to continue the stranglehold, the Norquist stranglehold, or to have it broken. And the consequence is not increasing, continuing the middle class tax cut and ending the tax break for the very wealthy with all the consequences for the unemployed, for those uh, who uh, go to doctors and doctors have to be reimbursed. I think in the end the Republicans will choose to have the, the hammerlock, the stranglehold of Norquist ended. Well, some would say that the AARP has a stranglehold on the Democratic caucus. Now that AARP has come out against even means testing on entitlements, do you think that the Democrats are going to vote for means testing on Medicare and other ways to significantly make cuts from the entitlement side to balance what you're hoping to get on the revenue side from the Republicans? I don't think there is any uh, stranglehold by AARP or anybody else on us. The president proposed last week some addressing of entitlements, about $400 billion, Medicare and others. There is no stranglehold. That's the difference. And I think the Republicans in the end will decide not to go over the cliff with Norquist. The consequences would be so substantial as Steve Ratner has indicated. It just should not happen. And I think the last weeks haven't been uh, a waste of time. What's really been happening is this, as I said, has been uh, coming to a head. The Republicans have a major decision to make, and that is essentially who's running their party. Is it Norquist? Is it the people who spoke in the election and voted for the president? This issue was foremost in the campaign. People spoke. The Republicans need to listen. And in the end, I think that will happen. And how critical do you think the debt ceiling question is to any agreement that you're willing to take? I think Steve Ratner was correct. I think we cannot continue to just have it hang over our heads. I think it needs to be resolved as part of these discussions of the fiscal cliff. It cannot simply be allowed to hang there uh, for the next few months. So I think they have to be both resolved. I think they will be. Congressman Sandra Levin, the top Democrat on Ways and Means, thank you very much, sir.